Okay, so first step is you're gonna open your iColor Pro Rip software. You'll have a blank canvas over here. You're gonna go up to the left-hand corner up here where the green plus sign is, and you'll select an image. I'm just gonna select this one, and it's loading. And you're gonna click your image and you're going to want to downsize your image to whatever size you want within your print margin. So for this one, I'm going to go right there. And then you're going to go up to this print button over here and you're gonna make sure everything is how you want it you're gonna make sure this down box is selected to the paper you have in the printer so it's gonna most of the time it's gonna be a uninet two-step standard 550 always make sure that's selected next we're gonna come over here to the printer the power button is to the side over here, you can't really see it. And it'll power on. So there's no jobs yet. So we'll come over back to the computer. Okay, so we're back at the software and also your previous jobs that you have done, if you use them pretty often, they'll just be stored down here as complete and you can drag them up here and it'll just be ready to print just like that. Also, you always wanna make sure your image is centered onto your paper that because you, you will want to cut around the access after you print. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit print on this one and we're going to hit print on the second one and they're going to press the home button to make your screen. Okay, so these were printed on a clear page, which is the, I use the eye color paper. It's, that's the step B and there's a step A. So the step A is the clear paper it was printed on. And then once it's printed, you're gonna wanna heat your heat press up to 310. And you are going to, give me just one second. Okay, so you're gonna take this, make sure it's face down. Both your images are face down so that they are backwards to you. And you'll take your step B paper, has the lines on the back and the front is plain. This is your adhesive side. So you, what I recommend is folding a tiny little corner of that so it's easier to pill up from the heat press, but you just lay it over top of it, just like this. See the corner, make sure it covers the whole page. And you'll do that for both your sheets again, 
make sure the plain side is face down on your image. Fold a tiny little corner just to help it peel up easier. Okay. Just a tip, make sure before you press these on the heat press to make the adhesive stick to that printout, make sure this bottom plate to your heat press is warm. You wanna make sure it's warm to the touch. It just helps the adhesive stick better. And you're gonna to wanna to press it at 310 for two minutes. I don't have my heat press set up that high, but for two minutes. Okay, so I laid it face down on the heat press where the lines are facing up. You'll cover it with your Teflon sheet and you're gonna press it for two minutes. Okay, so once your two minutes is up, you're gonna open your heat press and you're gonna wanna work pretty fast cause you wanna peel it while it's hot. You want to peel at a steady motion. You want to make sure your image is white where the adhesive sticks to it. Okay, so now you have your two images still on the clear sheet, but both have adhesive backings. So you are ready to press. So I typically fold my shirt in half first to make sure I'm always in the center. Make sure it's aligned nicely. Shake out your wrinkles, just the basic. And then I press it for about five seconds, just so you can have your center line visible. Okay. And you can see my center line. That won't affect your image coming out. Oh, actually, I wanted to press this one on the back. Okay. So, and when you want to find the center to this, you can fold it. You don't have to press down too hard, just enough where you can see a small crease to line it up. Also, if you see some white around the edges, you're going to want to trim your image just to get that extra adhesive off. Then you're going to use your heat resistant tape, tape it down, okay so now that you have your center put out and you have your images taped onto your shirt you're ready to press. You're going to keep your heat press still at 310 degrees but you're gonna press the image on for 30 seconds. And you do not have to press, after you print them and adhese them, you do not have to press them instantly. They will stay good for a long time. Okay, so I just laid it down on there. We're gonna cover it again with our Teflon sheet. Press your heat press close. Pretty hard pressure, 3, 10, 30 seconds. Okay, that one's done. Take your Teflon sheet off. 
take your shirt off the press, but do not peel off the clear image yet. Again, 310 for 30 seconds. Okay, so they're done. You still have the clear on there. You want to make sure you do not peel off the image until it's cooled. Just wait about a minute or two. Okay, so both of our images are cooled down. So now you're just going to take it and you're going to pinch it or fold it as tight as you can. And you're just gonna peel at and pull at the same, like pull your shirt tight at the same time and just keep it at a flat motion. I'm gonna peel your teeth. Make sure you keep it flat when you're pulling that off. <laughs> it's very important. Okay. We'll go ahead and do the other one. Now that you have the clear off, your image is going to be very shiny. You can see how shiny. You can kind of see it. Okay, last step. So this piece of paper is different from your Teflon. This paper makes it a matte finish. And you're going to want to put your shirt on your heat press. Make sure it's nice and flat. Cover it with this sheet. Press it at 265 for 20 seconds. Okay, so your timer's done. You can go ahead and peel this off. And now it is a nice matte finish feels like a screen print and this one as well nice matte finish and then there's the finished product